Hey, today we are at Mount Cemetery. It's a very historical cemetery. They say that this cemetery has the most revolutionary soldiers buried here. I'm going to show you guys a sign that gives a little bit more information and let you know exactly where we're at. I've never been here. It is absolutely beautiful. But I intend on showing you guys around the cemetery as well as doing a spirit box session to see if anyone comes through. I know that they've been here for several years, so I'm hoping that they'll be willing to talk with us. All right. I do most definitely want to take time to give you guys the information on this cemetery. The sign reads, the origin and the disappearance of the prehistoric mound builders has long been shrouded in mystery. Conus is the burial place of the chieftains. The mountain and, mountains and earthworks were constructed between 800 BC and 700 AD. These early inhabitants were the first farmers and artisans in the Ohio Valley and Marietta was the site of a mound builder's city. Gosh, I'm getting tongue tied here, guys. Marietta, the first prominent white settlement in the north West Territory was founded on April 7, 1788 under the leadership of General Rufus Putnam for the Ohio Company of Associates. Many of the pioneers were officers and soldiers of the American Revolution who received land grants for military services. It is most fitting that many of the first settlers were buried here beside the ancient inhabitants. So. Behind this sign is the mound, and the prominent people in Marietta, Ohio, wanted to save this mound from being destructed, and they had decided the way that they were going to save this mound is by burying the revolutionary soldiers around it. This cemetery is said to have the most revolutionary soldiers buried here. So you guys see the mound and around the sides you guys can see all of the burials. Now we are going to take a walk. I've never been here so I do want to take a walk around the mound and then we are going to do a spirit box session. But This is just absolutely beautiful and I have a strong feeling that since everyone's been here for as long as they have, I'm sure somebody's going to be willing to talk to us during our spirit box session. But it's just beautiful. And it goes all the way around this mound. Right here appears to be the entrance to the mound. I would love to come here at night, but I do believe that the gates are locked. And that might be a little freaky. Right now, we're on top of the mound. You can see all around us of all the graves. So beautiful. We're pretty far up here, though. Alright, guys. We're going to go back down the stairs here. But this place is absolutely gorgeous. I really hope we can get someone to come through. I think I'm going to do my spirit box session near this mount. However, obviously close to the graves. I don't want to fall down these stairs, guys, so I'm watching. They're very uneven. 
Just trying to see where we want to go. I'm walking around to see if I get a feeling to know where to stop. I think I want to stop right up here. We're still directly by the mound. What's over here? Wow. John Holt. If you look at these graves, you can just see how old they are. You can't really read that one at all. But you see a lot of the husbands and wives buried together too, I've noticed. I think I'm going to go over by this tree here. A little bit further away from the mound than I had anticipated. Alright guys, so I decided to just have a seat here. And we're going to go ahead and I want to just turn on my meter here and see if we get any readings. Then we're going to jump into the spirit box session where I hope something comes through. If you guys notice, I have been very anxious being here. I haven't really been to cemeteries. Um, I had an incident when I was 10, I was in foster care, I might have been 9, and I was in foster care. And there was this little girl that came and she would follow me around everywhere. I called her Madeline, but her real name was Kayla. And we were all in a bad spot because we were all in foster care. And we met up with this girl who was really into black magic and things like that. I don't know if she got it from her mom or who. So we would go down to the cemetery and we would do some seances and things in that manner. To make this story shorter, you know, we did have some incidents there. But one morning I was sleeping and one of the foster kid boys came and woke me up. He's like, Amanda, Amanda, wake up. Hurry, hurry. We need your help. I said, what's wrong? What's wrong? He said, it's Kayla. It's Kayla. She's hurt down at the cemetery and so I hurried up I jumped up and I went to go get on a bike and my foster mom said where do you think you're going any other time she didn't care what we did and I said Kayla's hurt down at the cemetery I need to get down there the kids got scared because of what happened and instead of calling 911 like going to a neighbor's house they came to get me instead which there's nothing I could have done. Anyhow, sadly, they were playing on a bike. And this bike was perfectly running. Nothing was wrong with it. And in that cemetery, around the outside, there were these little posts. And they had wire throughout it. Like, real thick wire. It was, like, just around. It was only, like, maybe a foot high. And Kayla asked to ride the bike. And she was going down a hill, went to go hit the brakes. The brakes didn't work, and she hit her neck off of the wire. Kayla got paralyzed from that. And they checked out the bike after the incident, and the brakes were working perfectly fine. But Kayla was younger than me. I mean, she had to be eight or so, and got paralyzed that day. And for the rest of her life, I would love to find Kayla if I could. I think her last name was Yates. And I just feel for her. Like, if I would have been there, you know, maybe things would have been different. Or if we weren't playing around in the cemetery and doing all these horrible things, maybe that wouldn't have happened. So, I've been very anxious being here. So, I do hope that you guys can bear with me. I'm trying to get over my nerves. And I'm going to try to get back to the video. So let's go ahead and turn on this meter. I have the volume down. Let's turn it up. If anyone's here with me, can you please step near me so I can know that you're here? I'm wanting to talk to whoever is here. I know you guys have been here for a very long time, and I'm sure you guys have messages that you like your family members to receive. 
please come here so that I can pass on any messages I can. The meter is going up a little bit here. Get closer to the camera here. Oh gosh, I'm gonna ruin my skirt sitting in the skirt. If anyone's here, can you please step near me? I have this in my hand just to help me know that you're here. I'm here to help. I'm not here to hurt anyone or cause any harm. I come with peace. I have no ill intentions. It's bouncing a little bit, but it's not going off. Sometimes I wonder if this works though. If anyone's near me, can you please step up here, please? It's bouncing back and forth. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's going up more than what it was. Not like stopped. I just have this camera here with me just so that I can watch it and share with others that there is more to life than just here on the physical world and that we are able to communicate. It's bouncing. So let's go ahead and do a spirit box session and see what happens. All right, guys, a quick editor's note. Coming up, you're going to see me doing a spirit box session. Now, in the beginning is what I want to point out. So, I was trying to get my spirit box session to go into the AM frequency because that's what I use. For some reason, my spirit box session would not switch modes from FM to anything else. And I was so caught up in the spirit box not switching modes, I wasn't really paying attention to what was coming through. And when I heard what did, it floored me. Take a listen. Okay, everyone, I have this spirit box here. And if you have any messages you want to give your loved ones, come near me and try to speak into this box. I don't know if I'm going to do an EVP session. I think I'm just going to do a regular spirit box session. S box. The mode will not change on this. For some reason, it's not on me change the mode. I like to do AM, so let me get this. Xbox. Scanning. FM. Scanning. AM. Alright, here we go. If you have any messages, please come near and speak into this box. I'm here with peace and love, I mean no harm, I would love to speak to you. I know you guys have been here for a long time and may not have had any visitors. Okay, something came through, it's very loud. Turn this up, Can you please come closer to speak up? If you have any messages, I'm here. We had something come in. I have to listen back to it. It was just too fast. Please speak up. 
I'm willing to relay any messages. Okay, that's too fast. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not going to do any harm. I'm here with peace and love. You don't have to be scared. Can you guys try to speak up? We had two come through. One sounded like a male and another like a female. That kind of sounded like James. I would have to... Did you say James? Well, I'm glad you guys are coming through. Is there anything that you would like to say or have me relay? Fred? Is it Fred? I couldn't make that out. much longer so if you guys have any messages please come towards me and speak speak up louder if you can I'm sure you guys haven't had visitors in a long time and I do want to thank all of you for your service for fighting for our country surprise in this area. I didn't get as much of a reaction as I thought that I would. Well, I do thank you all for your time and I do thank you for coming through. I hope you guys rest and I hope you guys are peaceful and I'll come back to visit another time. I'll have to listen back to that for sure. Alright, well thank you guys. Bye bye for now guys. So, we did get messages. I will listen back to them by the time you guys are watching this video. I will have put in what I made out. You know, sometimes I have to do it in slow motion and turn it up and listen to it over and over and over. But it's well worth it. I know we got messages. It wasn't what I expected. I honestly thought with having as many graves here as there are and as old as this cemetery is and all the historical value behind it, I truly felt like we would get so much more. Now, I actually wanted to go to the cemetery that's right down the road from my house, but I started here because of the historical value. Even the roads around here are brick still. Um, I live in a very historical town and we will be exploring it. There is so much that has happened here and so many haunted locations, but didn't turn out exactly how I anticipated but I do want to thank you guys for 
sticking with me and things are only going to get better from here. I have big plans. The kids are going back to school, so I'll have free time. Thank the Lord. You know, it makes it hard during the summer. I love my kids to death, but you know, you want to do stuff with your kids, take them to the beach, which we did. We went to Virginia Beach. You want, we went to a lot of places, you know, and so that takes up a lot of your time, but once the kids are in school, you get free time, and so I am going to be putting that free time into my videos so that my channel can get going, and obviously I have to work my actual job as well because I can't live off of YouTube, um, but... I do want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a delightful rest of your night. Bye-bye for now, guys. Mm -hmm.